Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Awaken Taurus 1111. Hope you're having a great day. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about the five love languages through each of the zodiac signs. Um, so there's a popular book that's been out for a while, actually since 1992, and it's called The Five Love Languages. It was written by Gary Chapman. Uh, it's pretty well known. A lot of people have read it. I thought it would be interesting to go through the zodiac signs and relate those five love languages of how you receive love and how you give love through the zodiac signs. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> so, first of all, I want to talk about what the five love languages are that are defined in that book. So, there's words of affirmation, there's acts of service. There's receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. So those are the five love languages. Uh, now, uh, uh, think about it as you could be giving that, but then you also would like to receive that. And sometimes it could be different. Um, a lot of times what you'll find is the way, think about the way that you show love to someone else uh, or you show appreciation to so, someone else. What do you normally do? You know, do you give them a gift? Um, do you make a nice comment? Uh, do you spend some uh, quality time, some added time with them and maybe uh, engage them in a conversation? Uh, so think about how you give love uh, when we're going through these zodiac signs and think about if that matches up. Um, if it doesn't match up, um, we, can, well, we can look at going a little bit deeper uh, which I'll talk about a little later, but to start with, I'm just going to start with the main zodiac sign. Um, but then um, also we'll get a little bit deeper into like moon signs and uh, rising signs and things like that. Okay. All right. So Aries is typically a words of affirmation sign. So they like to be uh, reaffirmed in what they're doing. Um, so if they have uh, worked on something, you know, going that, to them and saying, hey, you did a great job on that. Um, that really means a lot to an Aries person um, or someone that has strong Aries in their chart. Next sign is Taurus. Um, Taurus is a lot about physical touch. Um, so a hug, um, you know, if you were in a committed relationship, maybe a kiss or holding them. Um, so that means a lot to a Taurus, okay? The next sign is Gemini. Gemini like quality time. So sending down the Gemini, engaging with them in a, uh, a heartfelt, deep conversation uh, is something that a Gemini really appreciates. Next sign is Cancer. Cancers, um, they like acts of service. Um, so if you do something to lighten their load um, or you uh, provide some kind of a service for them in appreciation, uh, they really take that as love to them, okay? The next sign is Leo. Leo is another sign that likes uh, words of affirmation. Uh, with Leo uh, being ruled by the sun, um, they like um, being told nice things. So. Uh, you know, telling them that they look nice or telling them that they do a really good job at something. Um, they like those words of affirmation uh, given to them. Next sign is Virgo. Virgo is another sign that likes acts of service. So if you've taken the time to do something or to help lighten the low with a Virgo, they may not always express that, but they really internalize that they're very thankful for what you've done for them. Um, so acts of service are very important to Virgos. Um, the next sign uh, is Libra. Libra is a gift giving sign. Um, so giving them a, a nice gift uh, is something that a Libra really appreciates. Uh, maybe on their birthday or a significant day, anniversary or something, giving that Libra person, uh, a nice gift means a lot to them. Next sign is Scorpio. Scorpio is another sign with physical touch. Um, so showing 
a physical touch, you know, if you're a friend, a hug or, you know, a committed relationship, again, like maybe a kiss or holding them, uh, holding their hand, um, things like that uh, mean a lot to a Scorpio. Next sign is a Sagittarius. Sagittarius uh, is a sign that likes quality time. So spending time with them, one-on-one um, -on -one time, uh, taking time out of your day to make them a focus means a lot to the Sagittarius. Next sign is the Capricorn. Capricorn is another sign that, in, uh, that likes gift giving. So again, on significant days that mean something or even a, a random act of kindness, um, but having a gift for them is something that they really appreciate. Next sign is an uh, Aquarius. Aquarius is also a sign that likes acts of service. Uh, the Aquarius sign in general is, is like the, the great humanitarian. Um, so if you give them um, your time and service, they really appreciate that. And then the last and fi final sign is Pisces. And Pisces enjoys, again, quality time. So that one-on-one -on -one, um, conversations, uh, walks, different things where they're spending time with you and they know you're giving them your devoted time, they really appreciate that. Okay, so that is the five love languages through the 12 zodiac signs, okay? Now, I'm going to go a little bit deeper, so you may look at these and say, yeah, I kind of... Uh, agree with that for my particular zodiac sign, but I also feel this way. So in that case, um, what I'm going to do is I would ask if you don't already know your sun, moon, and rising, uh, and even your Venus sign, then go watch my video on how to pull your birth chart. And then once you know your signs, go back through these um, and think about what your moon sign is in what your rising sign is in, and then what your Venus sign is in. So there's something called the primal triad. The primal triad of astrology is basically just your sun, moon, and rising. And those three signs make up so much of who you are, it's good to know those signs and then think about, um, if, if we're talking about love, how we give it and how we want to receive it, knowing those signs will help you because you're main zodiac sign is kind of like the your overall personality but your moon sign um, is how you feel it's it's how you uh, uh, take in emotions okay your ascendant or rising sign is how you project out to the world um, and then finally your Venus sign which is not part of the primal triad but I think Venus is important because it's the planet of love um, so knowing what sign your Venus is in uh, can also kind of give you a better understanding of how you might give love and how you might receive love, okay? Um, so again, go back and if you don't know these signs, go back and uh, watch my video on how to pull your birth chart and then get your signs and then come back and watch this video again and think about, okay, what was my moon sign in? What was my rising sign in? because you're probably gonna find out that you might be a mixture of these uh, love languages. So I can say that I am a mixture of all those things. Um, and then also my Venus sign is in Aries. Um, Aries is words of affirmation. Um, so I can, when I look at myself as a whole, I can see that I have a mixture of those love languages too. Now, some of you, you know, you may find that your zodiac sign um, or your moon sign is more prominent uh, because they just make up so much more of, of who you are. Um, also, depending on where you, uh, when you were born, so if you were born in the middle of the night, um, a lot of times your moon sign can be stronger. Um, so you may sometimes operate more from your moon sign. Um, if you're born during the day, um, this, your sun sign or your zodiac sign can be more prominent. Um, and then also uh, an added layer is your age. So if you're over 30, uh, you typically tend to get out of your moon sign and more into your sun sign. Okay. So um, just think about all those different things when you're going through. Um, but, but it's interesting, or I thought it would be interesting to go through the love languages 
and, and through how each zodiac sign relates to those. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you got any comments, please leave them below. If you haven't already joined my channel, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you.